Paula from Huntington Beach, California, has a question about her garage attic. You may not believe this. They just insulated their attic. In California? In garage roof, yeah. Huh. The, the, the garage roof got insulated. But here's the deal. Paula writes, we added a, a drywall ceiling and an attic ladder, and now we want to know how we can ventilate the new attic area. Uh, I was going to put in a whirly bird vent, but need air to come up, obviously, to make that work effectively, Tom. So what would you recommend Paula do here? Ridge vents, soft vents. That doesn't matter where you are, even in California. Even in California. Even in Florida. The wind blows from the left, it'll still work. Even in New England. Everywhere. Ridge vents, soft vents. Whirly birds, they're antiquated. They leak when it rains. Mm -hmm. They really don't do what you need them to do. You have to feed it. That's where the soft vents feed it in. And then the ridge vents uh, exhaust it. So is, is there that's a ratio what you do. That you need to put on this. I don't know how a garage is set up. Okay. First off, and so you do as much as possible, especially in a garage, and it's going to keep that sheetrock drier. It's going to fall down your car in about 22 years, exactly 22 years. Uh, but the fact of the matter, 22, <laughs> 22 years. 22 I'm years. This down. Got I'll it. be 87, so it'll be okay. Uh, anyway, it's going to. Uh, just ventilate the best you can. As much ridge vent and a bunch of soft vent. If you're going to do a calculation, you would do one square foot of opening for every 150 square feet of attic floor. That would be 40% exhaust, 60% intake. It'll drive you crazy. Just put as much as you can. I like that math better. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. And, you know, and there's nothing better than getting answers to your home improvement questions. Send them to us at homeshowradio.com. Tom will answer them, just like we have in these other videos. And you can subscribe to our channel and get alerted to new ones.